location for insertion of an intraocular lens is the original anatomical position of the human crystalline lens within the capsular bag in the posterior chamber. As the bag provides not only long-term stability, secure positioning and also prevent damage to the intraocular structures, mainly the posterior surface of the cornea or the endothelium. Now the question arises, what if there is a rent to the posterior capsule which can happen to any experienced surgeons? In the event of a large posterior capsular rent, it may not be possible to insert the lens into the capsular bag as we always desire. We have other options, sulcus supported lenses, but for this we need the support of the anterior capsular rim. Other choices are anterior chamber rival, iris fixated lenses or scleral fixation of intraocular lenses using sutures but we all are aware of the consequences. In the event of an inadequate anterior capsular rim and a deficient posterior capsule, we are here to describe to you a brand new technique which is fibrin glue assisted sutureless intraocular lens implantation with scleral tuck of both the haptics. We coined this term glued intraocular lenses started by Professor Amar Agarwal in Chennai, South India way back in the year 2007. So the glued IL technique is very useful in a myriad of clinical situations such as subluxated cataracts, subluxated intraocular lenses, dislocated IOLs, zonulopathy and it can be done as a primary procedure on the table or it can be done as a secondary procedure in patients who are left aphakia due to deficient capsules. No special IOLs are required, just a three piece foldable or non-foldable IOL has to be there in your library. Note long training is required, no, do not need any special instruments other than fibrin glue or the tissue glue and a special 25 gauge glued eye will forceps.